Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, you guys. I'm so excited to be back for devotional again with you guys today. And today I'm going to be talking about how sometimes it feels like you take one step forward and two steps back, how it feels like the harder you try to pursue and obtain the things that you believe God is promising you, that he has shown you for your life, it sometimes feels like the harder you try, the more weighty life becomes or the more challenging or even farther away you get from what it is that God has shown you. So I'm going to start reading today in Luke chapter 29, starting at verse 23. It says, Then he said to them all, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and is himself destroyed or lost? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words of him, the son of man will be ashamed when he comes in his own glory and in his father's and of the holy angels. But I tell you truly, there are some standing here who shall not taste death till they see the kingdom of God. So you guys, when God was showing me this scripture, he was just telling me like, for some of you, <laughs> there are parts. So the key here is you have to surrender. You have to surrender everything to God. He said to take up your cause and follow him. You have to be led by his guiding and what he's telling you to do and Sometimes it seems harder because you are trying to save parts of you, but God is telling you to surrender all of who you are to him and parts of you. What does that mean? Parts of a plan that you think will get you to the destination that God showed you better than the plan that he has, or maybe you haven't even been able to clearly hear or see the plan that God has for you because you're so attached to the plan that you have for you. You have this thought about how you're gonna get your house. You have this thought about where your husband is and where you're gonna find them. You have this thought about where your wife is and where you're gonna find her. You have this thought about how your healing is gonna occur in your life. You have these thoughts about what it's gonna take to get from where you are to where you're trying to be. And the truth is God is saying, you need to surrender everything. You need to surrender the parts of your life where you don't have a plan and you don't know where to even start with a plan, as well as the parts where you think you have the perfect plan. You have to surrender all of that to God. And in verse 25, it says that what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and is himself destroyed or lost? And to me, that just speaks to when you're making a little progress. Like I said, one step forward, two steps back. You're gaining something because you're making a little progress, but it's destroying who you are in the process. You are losing yourself in the process because of all the stress, because of all the worry, because of all the weight that comes with you trying to make this little bit of progress on your own. It's those parts of you that haven't been surrendered yet to the plan of God for your life. And it's causing you to be destroyed on the inside. It's weakening you. It's weakening your resolve to continue. It's weakening your faith. It's weakening your strength to contend for what God is telling you. You guys know at my church, we're talking about contending this year. And so you'll hear me use the term contend and it's because it's true. In this case, sometimes you're trying so hard, but you're trying so hard in your own effort and it's weakening you and it's destroying you. And it's those things that you're trying to hold on to, those plans you're trying to hold on to, those people, those things that you're trying to hold on to that God has not told you to hold on to. And it's causing you to be weakened. And then in verse 27, in the easy reader version, it says, believe me when I say that some of you 
people standing here will see God's kingdom before you die. And I want you to understand before you, and, and you know, it says some of you won't taste death in this um, New Living Translation. And I want you to think of it this way, not just as like death of a physical death, but the death of your dreams, the death of that promise, the death of your desire. It says that you will see the kingdom of heaven. What is the kingdom of heaven? It is God's promises to you manifested here on this earth. And so you have to realize when you surrender to God, when you hand everything over to him, when you truly say, God, I'm going to let you take control of what I think I know and what I think I understand, as well as what I don't know and what I don't understand, hand it all over to God in surrender. That is what God is looking for, surrender, to answer the prayers, to answer the promises. He's the one that gave the vision. He's the one that showed you what is to come. So hand it to him. Let him be the one to work it all out and figure it all out. And I know that's easier said than done. Y'all know I'm on a journey right now. I left my full-time job and I am following what I believe God is telling me to do day by day. And so, like I said, I know it's a whole journey and it's not as easy as like, I'm gonna just do whatever, but you have to commit every day. Every day, it's a re-surrendering of who you are, of what you think you know, of what you think you should be doing. It's a re-surrendering to God every day. Every day, we should be asking God, what should my step be now? What should I be clinging to now? What should I be moving towards now? What should I be letting go of? What things have I picked up along the way that I no longer should be holding on to you? God, I need you to show me. And so I'm going to pray with you guys. Father God, I just thank you right now for all those that were able to join me for a devotion today. I thank you, Father God, that your word is speaking to them like it's speaking to me. I thank you, Father God, that they have the strength and the courage to surrender today, Father God, to re-surrender every day, Father God, so that they can follow you, so that they can choose you, so that they can fulfill the things that you have for them to fulfill here on the earth, so that they can see the promises that you've promised them here on the earth, Father God. Let them let go of ideas and notions of thoughts and just ways and plans that they have come up with and that were not given to you by them. Give them the strength, give them the courage, courage to do that. Allow them to contend well. Allow them to pursue well, journey well after the things that you have for them so they do not feel this weight they do not get destroyed or broken down in the process of pursuing their own way, but they are uplifted, encouraged, and strengthened by the plan and the process of pursuing the way that you have them to. We thank you for their purposeful pursuit in all areas of their lives. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So as always, if you feel like this was encouraging to you make sure you share it with somebody you feel like it could be encouraging to as well leave a comment like the video subscribe to the channel if you want to have more moments in the word together and yeah that's all for today you guys i love you and until next time